believers, listen to me. When it comes to comfort and peace, we often confuse the two as if they're the same thing or similar. Absolutely not. Comfort and peace are two completely different things. You can be at peace and still be quite uncomfortable. At the same time, you can be troubled and still be comfortable. How come you have so many women out there who are in toxic re sexual relationships over and over again? They're not at peace in those relationships, but they're comfortable being there because it's familiar. Now, let me give another example to you. You grew up in a village. Physically, you left the village once in a while uh, to go on a vacation or to visit a friend or whatever. But now you're going to college. So you have to move away from your comfort zone. You're not going to be comfortable. Absolutely not. And when you arrive at a student dorm, you have to meet all these people who have different characters than you, different opinions than you. It will be uncomfortable. But you know, deep down, down inside, you need to be there because you need to develop. So you are at peace being there, but you're not comfortable for now. Over time, you will become comfortable because you get used to it. Or let's say now that, again, you're a woman and you want to find a man to be with. And you find this guy who uh, you're at peace with him, but you're uncomfortable because you think he's boring. Now what goes on? You're used to toxicity. The way you were raised by your own dad, uh, the way your ex treated you. So you are familiar with toxicity. And you perceive that toxicity as excitement. So now, even though you're at peace with this new guy, you're not comfortable. Why? Because you need to be delivered. You need to be reformed. Then, then you ditch that guy and find another guy, another guy you're so comfortable with. But at the same time, you know deep down the side this, this, something's off with that guy. But you suppress the symptoms from your intuition because you are comfortable because it's familiar to you. So understand this. Just because you are uncomfortable with something does automatically mean something is wrong. Now, you can be uncomfortable with something and indeed something is wrong. That's proper. But you can't rely on whether or not you feel comfortable. You have to examine and assess what your intuition pick, picks up. Your intuition operates on conviction. While comfort relies on your familiarity. Now, your, the comfort you feel and your intuition can be in sync with one another. That would be the best. If your intuition picks up toxic vibrations and you feel uncomfortable as a result, that's in harmony. If your intuition picks up safety or something good and you're comfortable there, that's, that's even better. Just know that the comfort you feel and your intuition are not always in sync, even as a believer, and there's nothing wrong with that. Just don't confuse feeling comfortable or uncomfortable with your intuition. Sometimes we as believers confuse the comfort we feel with our intuition. Let me tell you, the way to discern intuition from your uh, for feeling comfortable or not, is to ask one question. How will this benefit God's will for my life? Ask yourself that question. If you ask yourself that question and you can pick up some way it will benefit God's will for your life objectively, then you know that what you feel is just discomfort because you're not familiar or used to something. And it's natural for you to feel a little bit anxious, a little bit um, unease when you're doing something for the first time. You had, a, you had this when you were a child, you always had when you're uh, doing something new or something outside of what you're used to. But if you ask the question, how will this benefit God's will for my life? And you have a difficult time finding objective reasons how it will benefit God's will for your life, that means that the comfort you feel with it is based on you being distracted or based on you not wanting to face something. 
it means that it's false comfort, your your fault. Because let me tell you, your intuition never lies. Your intuition is always correct. It's that our familiarity with things tend to cloud what we pick up from our intuition. Anyone who survived a toxic sexual relationship, anyone who survived a toxic ex-partner, if they would review and reflect on those toxic involvements, they would all tell you that at some point they picked something was off. But because they were so excited about the sexual contact, they brush off what they picked up. So they were not at peace, but they were comfortable. How often does it not happen that we're not at peace with something, but we're so comfortable with it? So learn to discern. Just because you are comfortable with something doesn't mean you're at peace with it. Okay? And too often, we suppress what we pick up from intuition just because we want something to happen. It can be a job. You're not at peace working there. But to look for another job would be too much for you. You get uncomfortable with the idea to look for another job because you know you may not get another job immediately. You may have to go on welfare or you may have to do this, that. So you get uncomfortable with the idea. So you're comfortable with this routine going to the job, but you're not at peace over there. Or maybe as a guy, you are involved with this woman. You even plan to marry her, but deep down inside you pick up uh, is this really a good idea? But because you're so cute, so kind, so sexy, whatever, you suppress that because, hey, you're comfortable uh, with how smooth things are going. Or it can be you attend a church. And since attending a church, you've noticed that things became smoother in your life. But at the same time, it's like you feel like it's, you feel like it's too good to be true. Understand this. Your comfort level can be manipulated by other people. It can be triggered um, by events. It can even be shaped by your past experiences. That's your comfort level. But your intuition cannot. Your intuition is independent of all you've gone through, independent of others triggering you, independent of how you perceive things. Your intuition is an objective, independent radar that God builds you with. And you should always give heed to your intuition. Now, your intuition is not a glass sphere. Like you see in those movies where fortune tells you have a glass sphere or a glass ball and they see everything. That's not what the intuition is. Your intuition picks up vibration. Just like a metal detector detects metal in the ground, but you don't know what it is. You have to dig to find out what it is. The same is with your intuition. Your intuition picks up good vibrations and toxic vibrations. You need to learn to reflect be sensitive to your intuition and act on it. Because God did not build you with an intuition for nothing. All right? So discern the difference between your comfort level and your intuition. You can be totally at peace somewhere and still not be comfortable because you have to get used to the situation. At the same time, you can be quite uncomfortable. For example, if someone, let's say someone calls you out on one of your errors. Them calling you out is not going to feel comfortable. You even may even feel ashamed or embarrassed because they call you out on something. But at the same time, you are at peace because you know that them calling you out will, uh, with, with, with the right intentions. It's not that they were attacking you or floating on you. Them calling you out and push you to, uh, to repent will actually benefit you in the long run. So don't be distracted by comfort levels. Check whether or not you're at peace with something. What's it for now? Keep on creaming Christ and be at peace.